Go on, Pikachu. Remember, practice makes perfect. Skinny, keep going. This is going to help us at our next contest. Hey, I know you guys are the trainers, but don't you think you're pushing them a little too hard today? You can never prepare too much for a battle. How about if you all tried doing the same race your Pokemon had to do? Ludi Tomo! Yeah, let's do it! Whoa, my heart is beating so fast. Mine's doing the same thing. It's like I can actually hear it. How come it goes so fast after we finish a training session? If we find that out, it can only help us prepare for a battle. Ciara knows everything about why our bodies work. We should give her a call. Hi there. What's happening? We just finished a training session and all noticed how fast our heartbeats seem. But it's not always like that. Should we be worried? That's actually a good sign, Ash. That's your heart working hard. Ciara, I think the sight of you is causing my heart to beat. Thanks, Brock. But a heartbeat is actually your heart pumping blood through your body. But it's going so many times. Does that mean there's too much blood going through my body? Oh, no! Pika! Moody Colo? No, you need all of that blood to keep you going. But if you're talking about blood and beating hearts, you gotta drop some science about the circulatory system. Like a circle? Well, kind of like a circle, in that everything keeps on going. And each part needs to do its job for the whole system to work. A problem with one could make the rest not work so well. Sounds like the ultimate team battle. It is, Ash. Here, look at the big-time players on Team Circulatory System. Bringing oxygen into the heart, it's the lungs. Carrying the oxygen from the heart to the rest of the body, it's the blood. Carrying blood away from the heart, it's the arteries. Carrying blood to the heart, it's the veins. And the player you've been hearing so much about, at the center of the whole system, it's the heart. That's a totally impressive team you've got there, Ciara. Well, it's up to each person to make their insides work the best they can. Exercise and eating right makes the circulatory system run smooth and stay together. So if you're lazy and eat bad stuff, you might have some problems in there. You got it, Ash. Eating healthy and exercising regularly helps make each part of the system stronger. Pikachu! You see, when you exercise, the blood moves easily through the veins and arteries to keep everything clean. There is something called oxygen in the blood that the lungs bring in. Every time you breathe, you're taking oxygen from the outside and bringing it inside. That oxygen gives your body power. The blood's job is pretty important. Actually, that's only half its job. On the way back to the heart, it cleans up anything that could be dangerous in your body and brings them back to the heart to get cleaned out. Well, I think the lungs are doing a great job as well. They are, May. Without the oxygen they take from the air outside, the blood wouldn't have a job to do. They totally need each other. Right, Ciara? <laughs> That's true. Now, see those tubes? Well, when the blood travels away from the heart and into the body, they travel through a tube called an artery. On its way back, when it's cleaning, it travels through a tube called a vein. Those are totally like tunnels to travel through. So everything has to go through... The heart! You are just as good of a team as the circulatory system. The heart is at the center of it all. It takes the oxygen that your lungs bring in and sends it out through your arteries and your blood, then brings it back through your veins. But even though the heart is at the center of it all, everything around it needs to be clean and healthy for it to perform what it needs to do. That is so cool. I'm going to listen to what my heart tells me to do. Well, taking care of yourself on the outside helps things on the inside. You've got to think of your team. Yep, like too much junk food can eventually start to clog the arteries and veins, making it harder for you to get oxygen. That I'm going to make sure I get enough exercise so my system runs smooth. So now that you know what's up with the circulatory system... I could use some help with this model of the circulatory system I'm building for students here at the lab. Want to help? Sounds good to us. How about you?
You're great team players. Let's get started. What is the part of the circulatory system that is responsible for bringing oxygen from the outside into your body? Awesome! The lungs help you breathe and take in oxygen. Okay, now what part of the circulatory system carries blood away from the heart? You're totally getting it. The arteries carry blood away from the heart. Arteries away. What part of the body is responsible for bringing blood to the heart? You got it. The veins bring blood to the heart. What is responsible for pumping blood throughout the entire circulatory system? That's right. The heart beats to pump blood throughout the circulatory system. Which part of the system is responsible for carrying the oxygen to the body and then cleaning up whatever mess is left behind? You got it. The blood transports oxygen and nutrients and helps fight infection. You're doing great. Let's test out the model, okay? Drag the activities into the circulatory system that can help how it runs. To get it running perfectly, you'll have to get 100% on the heart meter. Awesome! Nice work! Nice work! I think we all did a great job building the model, but there seem to be a few things that aren't working. Can you do me a favor and help me fix whatever problems it may have in time for my class? Click on the flashing light to fix each of the non-working parts. Okay, what can we do to get the heart beating faster? Awesome! Click on the flashing light to fix each of the non-working parts. Oh no! The blood cleaned up an infection inside the system but needs to get back to the heart. What road should it take? Good job! Click on the flashing light to fix each of the non-working parts. Okay now, there is not enough oxygen getting into the lungs. What should we do? Great! Click on the flashing light to fix each of the non-working parts. The oxygen is getting in, but there's nothing carrying it to the body. What's not moving like a river? You got it! Click on the flashing light to fix each of the non-working parts. There is not enough blood pumping away from the heart. You got it! Wow, that looks so cool! You just made my job so much easier. I'm going to tell everyone in the class just how much you helped. Thanks for being part of my team. Thank you, Ciara. Now we know what makes our own team circulatory system in top shape. Speaking of top shape, 
It looks like our Pokemon are ready for one more team race, too. I'm up for it. Call it out, Max. Ready? I can beat you two, because I'm as fast as a rapid dash. Come on. Ready? Nuh-uh. I'm faster than rapid dash. Ready? Next to me, you two look like Slowpoke. Oh, brother. Just go. Go! Remember, these help you breathe and take the oxygen from the outside. Remember, these help you breathe and take the oxygen from the outside. It has to be one of the tubes. Try again. Which one of the tubes carries blood to the heart? Remember, this is the center of the whole circulatory system. Try again. Try again. Oops, not that one. Try again. But there seem to be a few things that aren't working. Can you do me a favor and help me fix whatever problems it may have in time for my class? Click on the flashing light to fix each of the non-working parts. 